Hi, welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History. Now, on this day in Tudor history, well, I can't really say Tudor history because it was actually in the Stuart period, but it's about a Tudor man. The 24th of March, 1619, Robert Rich, first Earl of Warwick, nobleman and politician, died at his London home, Warwick House in Holborn. He was laid to rest at Felstead Church in Essex. Robert Rich was the second son of Robert Rich, second Baron Rich, and his wife Elizabeth. And he was the grandson of Richard Rich, first Baron Rich, who served King Edward VI as Lord Chancellor, but is more famous for being involved in the torture of Protestant Anne Askew in Henry VIII's reign. Robert Rich succeeded his father as Baron Rich in 1581, as his older brother Richard had died without issue the previous year. His biographer, Brett Usher, points out that Rich was the most eligible bachelor in England due to the fact that he owned estates worth something like £5,000 per annum. William Cecil, Lord Burley, and Henry Hastings, Earl of Huntingdon, who were the guardians of Robert Devereux, Earl of Essex, and his sister Penelope, respectively, arranged a marriage between Rich and Penelope. Penelope was the daughter of the late Walter Devereux, first Earl of Essex, and his wife, Letice Knowles, and she is thought to have been the inspiration or muse for Sir Philip Sidney's Astrophel and Stella. Although Penelope made it clear that she did not want to marry Rich, she was forced to marry him in November 1581, and it wasn't a happy marriage. Penelope's second husband, Charles Blunt, Lord Mountjoy, recorded that following the marriage, Rich did study in all things to torment her. Rich and his wife separated in 1590 after the birth of their second son, and Penelope began a relationship with Charles Blunt, the future Lord Mountjoy. Their resulting children were brought up as riches, as the couple didn't divorce until 1605. Even though they'd been desperately unhappy and Penelope was involved with Mountjoy, when Rich was seriously ill in 1600, it was Penelope who nursed him through it. In 1601, following her brother's failed rebellion, Penelope was imprisoned briefly and interrogated before being sent home to her husband. There was no loving reunion, however, and their divorce was granted in November 1605 after Penelope admitted to adultery. Penelope married Mountjoy in December 1605, but sadly he died in April 1606. In 1608, Rich was appointed as a privy councillor, and in 1618, he was made Earl of Warwick after paying the Exchequer £10,000 for the privilege. Rich made his will in September 1617, appointing his eldest son, Robert, as executor and leaving instructions to be buried at Felstead. He died on this day in 1619, leaving somewhere in the region of £5,000 plus properties in London, Essex, Norfolk and Suffolk. His eldest son inherited the earldom of Warwick and his second son Henry became Earl of Holland. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 24th of March 1603, Queen Elizabeth I, the Virgin Queen Gloriana, Good Queen Bess, died and King James VI of Scotland became King James I of England. You can find out more about Elizabeth's death in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. You can subscribe by clicking around about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live, and you can, of course, give me a like and leave a comment. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.